Hello all. So in previous session, I have split my data and I have created training data, testing data, and I have separate my all the independent features for my training purpose. I have cleared my data. I have pre-processed my data. So in this session, I'm going to show you how exactly you can implement Arima on your data. So very first, you have to just install a very basic library, which is exactly my uh, PMD Arima, which is my pyramid Arima. So I'm just going to say, just install this pmd arima so just press alt plus enter and it will install pmd arima in your anaconda so all the stuff gets executed it has saying the requirement already satisfied because i have already installed it so now from this basically my pmd arima you have to import your auto arima class so i'm just going to import my auto underscore arima so you can press tab over here so it is not showing me you can manually tap it as well so now basically what you have to do you have to initialize this auto arima so if you are going to press shift plus tab you will check all your information of this class the very first one is why what is your dependent data the second one is exactly your exogenous which will exactly receive your all the independent data that you are going to pass to your auto arima model so in this why i am going to say in this why i have to basically consider just my this v wrap column and in this exactly my exogenous you can press tab as well so this is my exogenous and in this basically you have to very first access your data frame and in this you have to just pass this in underscore features list to access all your independent data let's say the object that it will return me i'm going to store it in model so let's say to trace your each of your activity to find your best pdq pair you can assign as trace equals to true so just execute it and it will take a couple of seconds for your execution so you will see you have some warnings over here just don't worry you can remove this warning as well you can ignore these warnings you will see this arima model has this much aic and it will take this much time similarly this arima model has this much pdq pair which have this much aic and which has this much time taken by for your executing your arima model so if you want to ignore these warnings what you can do you can import let's say your warnings library and in this warnings you have to access your filter warnings and here you have to say just ignore all the warnings so again you can execute it to get rid of all the warnings now you will see it is showing me performing stepwise search to minimize aic so the lower the aic value basically the better will be my arima model you will see arima which has this much number of pdq pair gives basically this aic value so it will depend upon what specifications of your laptop or computer is so it will take this much number of time for different different pairs so you will see this is your best arima model which is exactly my 0 comma 0 comma 0 which will exactly give me the least aic value so now you have to just fit your data so that it will learn some kind of relation so for this this is exactly your dependent data so here you have to pass this and this is exactly your independent data so you can just copy paste here it's nothing fancy so what you have to do after executing this one it will learn all the relationship automatically and it will give you your arima model so this is exactly your arima model which has this much number of pdq and all these different different stuff so now what you can do you can simply do your prediction so now i am going to access my model and here i have to call my predict function and if you are going to press shift plus tab you will see the exogenous in which you have to pass your testing data on which you have to do your prediction and this is exactly your number of periods that you have to consider and all these are optional parameters so let's say uh, i'm going to consider my n periods equals to whatever will be my length of my test data this is exactly my first parameter and in this exogenous i have to access this test data and here i have to just pass this in underscore feature so that it will give me prediction on the basis of all these independent data so just execute it and these are exactly all your predictions 
So let's say I'm going to store all the prediction in my forecast array. So now what you have to do, let's say I'm going to define a, a new column in my test underscore data. And here, let's say my new column name is forecast underscore arima. And here you have to simply assign your forecast array that you have defined over here. So just execute it. And now let's say I'm going to check what is the trend of my forecasting. So very first, you have to access your this data frame. And in this, the very first is, let's say, I'm going to perform some comparison over here. So very first, you have to access your actual data. Then you have to access your forecasted data. So this is exactly my forecast data, which is my forecast underscore arima. So you have access all your data. And if you are going to call a plot over there, now you will see you have this much type of curve. So this blue line is basically what exactly your actual value is. And this green curve is, this orange curve is basically refers to your prediction curve. So let's say if you have to maximize this curve. So in such case, you can set your own figure size. So you can set, let's say I'm going to set my own figure size and here, I'm going to assign my window size, let's say 14,7. So if you are going to execute again, you will see this type of prediction. You will see here you have some kind of variation in data. And here you have a very accurate prediction, somehow very close prediction. So that's a, you know, power of your ARIMA. And you know, that's pretty cool. So in the next session, I'm going to show you how you can check the accuracy of your model that you have built over here, which is exactly your ARIMA model. So thank you. Have a nice day. Keep learning. Keep going. Keep practicing.